Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial on Linux. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning some of the basic Linux commands. We all know that the Linux system is command based. This is not the case with Windows, which is GUI based. Throughout this tutorial, we can talk about how the shell uses the path variable to locate commands, external and internal commands, breakup of a command into its arguments and options, the use of the man command. Okay, let's begin. Did you notice that the Unix commands are single words, like cat, ls, who, and so on? We all know that the Linux file system is case sensitive. The uppercase ls and lowercase ls has a different meaning in Linux. For instance, if you enter uppercase ls instead of lowercase, this is how the system will respond. This message is from the shell. There is obviously no command named uppercase ls on the Linux system. These commands are essentially files containing programs, mainly written in C. These files are stored in certain directories. For instance, the ls command is a file to be found in the directory bin. The easiest way of knowing the location of an executable program is to use the type command. When you execute the day command, the shell locates this file in the user slash bin directory and makes the arrangement to execute it. Type looks up only the directory specified in the path variable. Let's echo the path variable. The path variable is nothing but a sequence of directories that the shell searches for a command. You can see that the directories are separated by colons. Note that this list also includes the current directory. Here it's the first one. Sometimes it just displays single dot to represent the current directory. In Unix, there are two kinds of commands. External commands and internal commands. Take a look at the date command. Date is a program or file having independence existence in the user slash bin directory. It is branded as an external command. Whereas, internal commands are shell, built-in commands. Take for instance the echo command. Echo isn't an external command in the sense that, when you type echo, the shell won't look in its path to locate it. Rather, it will execute it from its own set of built-in commands. Because internal commands have more priority than the external commands. You can see the full list of shell built-in commands by typing help. The argument prefix with a hyphen is a special argument known as an option. You can pass any number of option with a single hyphen. If you use a command with a wrong option, the shell locates the command. But the command this time find the option to be wrong. And it generates the error message, not by the shell. Linux also allows you to specify more than one command in the same command line. In such a case, each command has to be separated from the other by a semicolon. When a command line contains a semicolon, the shell understands that the command on each side of it needs to be processed separately. The semicolon here is known as a meta character. There are several meta characters that has special meaning to the shell. When you learn to redirect the output of these commands, you may even group them together within parentheses. The combined output of the command now sends to the file. A command line can overflow, or can be split into multiple lines. Some commands have a lengthy syntax, and you may often find it desirable to split the command into multiple lines. Take a look at the echo command. Here the message is split into multiple lines. The greater than symbol here is secondary prompt. Whenever you find the secondary prompt appearance after you have pressed enter, it will generally be due to the absence of quotes or parentheses. In case you find that problem persists even after providing it, just kill the command with Control c Another important command in Linux is the man command. Man command in Linux is used to display the user manual of any command that we can run on the terminal. You can use the apropos command to find out the command and files associated with the keyword. For example, if you don't know the command for the calculator, you can use the apropos command to search. The apropos command is useful while searching for commands without knowing their exact names. What is command in Linux is used to get a one-line manual page description. 
This command is useful when you want to know the purpose of command in one line. All right. I think we have learned a lot of useful commands in this section. If you have any questions, please post on the comments section. If you enjoyed my video or learned anything, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.